welcome users to the latest Deep Lab Cut demo for Google Collaboratory. You can find the notebooks on our Deep Lab Cut repository under the folder Examples. Here you can click on the blue icon to launch the repository on Google Colab. You'll want to connect to a hosted runtime and then make sure that you have GPU access. Now what we're going to do is locally install the GitHub repository such that you have access to the demo data. Now to see Deep Lab Cut in action, it's as simple as going through, clicking on the code blocks, and clicking Run. Be sure to follow the notes and tips that we also suggest, like restart runtime if it hadn't been installed already. Notice, for this short demo, we're going to set save iterations to a very low number and only run for a few hundred iterations. In general, though, you're going to want to save at maybe every 10,000 or 15,000 checkpoints and then run this to about 200,000 iterations on your own data. As we note, when you hit stop on this cell, you're going to see some errors, but these are not a problem. Don't worry, keep on going. We can start now evaluating this network and see how the performance looks. Note, you're going to want to see a low pixel error. Of course, we've only run this for a short period of time, and so you still have around six pixel errors. In our paper, where we run this for the full amount, you're in the about two to three pixel range. Note that you can navigate into the Evaluation Results folder under Iteration 0 and then look at the test and training images. This is really a key indicator if the network is performing well. You can also create labeled videos. Here, a key point will be what the level of P cutoff that you set. The default in this example is 0.4, which is relatively low. For your normal datasets, you're going to want to edit this config file and set this to about 0.8 or 0.9. By running plot trajectories, you can also look at some of the outputs of the network here on the video. For example, you can look at the likelihoods to determine what an appropriate peak cutoff might actually be, as well as getting a general sense of the data by looking at the trajectory or the plot PNGs. Thanks for watching this demo video and happy deep lamp cutting.